From Wall Street to Main Street, this is LA Late. It's a big evening of evenings LA Late. As Congress passes your $3.5 trillion reconciliation budget bill on Saturday night. In this fourth stimulus check update 2021, we'll go over all these incredible checks that got in there. $3.5 trillion of checks. We'll go over cluster number one that got checks in there for hazard pay, checks for seniors, checks for children, and $51,000 of MSE. The president went in there, he got them in there. Then we go to cluster number two, it checks for up to $1,700 you have to stay home from work, checks for seniors, checks for workers in cluster number two, and then cluster number three. We'll go over the voting process because guess what? There's potentially three things going for a vote in the same five days. Recon, infrastructure, and debt ceiling limit. I'll explain a little bit about what's going on with the debt ceiling limit. Doesn't impact you directly. Then we'll go over why Pelosi thinks that there still needs to be modifications. What are those modifications to that recon? Is it the MSC IRS check? I have all the details of what AOC Jalapal and Omar's office tell viewers today, Monday. Then we cut to the big exciting details. As we go into the final stretch, the looming finish line is in front of us. And with all this incredible great news, we're going to go over why the recon passed on Saturday, but it is far from finished. I'll go over why the modifications need to be made, what you need to advocate. It's a big night. It's a great night. It's a beautiful evening. I'm excited you're here. Let's get to it, starting right here, right now, as your $3.5 trillion recon passed. beautiful evening across the board. Tonight, your $3.5 trillion recon is in the hand of the president, not to sign, but to make markups to something that was already marked up. In fact, the Senate is making markups to it as well. In fact, there's been markups about the MSC IRS check, say staffers from Pelosi and also Jalapal's office as well. I'll go over all these incredible details. But the big one is that a $3.5 trillion recon passed by the House budget committee on Saturday. This is a huge one because if it was called for a vote on the House floor, it would pass in a second. So then what's next? Is it being called for a vote? What day? What about the infrastructure vote? That started its process today, is expected to end on Thursday. Is it going first? Is it going second? Or is it going simultaneously? We'll go over all the recon checks, 3.5 trillion of them in this recording. We'll be cutting over to fourth stimulus, also the fifth stimulus, over the third stimulus. And then the big surprise as an additional 13 billion dollars coming out to your cities and counties and states and the confusion about the global minimum and the confusion about the debt ceiling limit oh boy it's a big night and the excitement starts right now as your reconciliation budget bill passes the house subcommittee so subscribe 400,000 subscribers a youtube record i want you part of this incredible family hit that subscribe button right now like the video too 3,000 likes and consider becoming a member purple hawk purple power or calcino vip on saturday night the House subcommittee, called the House Budget Subcommittee, passed your $3.5 trillion reconciliation budget bill. It was late at night, early Sunday morning. I delivered the news live on air because this channel records 24 hours a day, seven days a week. Broadcast channels close. Print media close. YouTube channels close. You didn't hear it because they were closed. They were off playing golf. You heard it first. The recon passing, that meant that all the incredible clusters, cluster number one, the first 645 pages detailed over the last two weeks, which includes hazard pay. Cluster number two, which includes weatherizing your home. Cluster number three, which includes money for seniors and workers, all passed in that vote. What happened? In the thick of the night, the House subcommittee for the budget had that vote. And it's not something you would see on TV, not something you see on C-SPAN. The House Budget Committee, which authorizes the spending bill, passes it. And the vote came as following. Democrats voted in favor of it. House members voted against it on that subcommittee. They called in on their cell phones remotely because they were not actually even there. Some were at home, some were in their kitchens, some at, in their cars. 
That means that your recon is now ready for a vote on the House floor. And any other day of any other week, I'd say, just call for a vote on the House floor. It passed in a blink of an eye. So why was it not called for a vote today? Because Pelosi wants to make changes to it. And for the first time in nearly over a year, Pelosi has your back left and right so far. Pelosi wants to make sure that everything is in there. She was the advocate for the IRS MSE inclusion of a stimulus check. So says her staff to countless viewers of channel. AOC Jalapal Omar as well. She also wants to ensure the senators have modifications that are offered. And the president, she said in a statement late Saturday night, that negotiations continue. So let's go over the first cluster checks that got in there. It's the first 645 pages. Detail on this channel in the last week. In the last week it's incredible. Remember, the recon is not checks for COVID. It's checks for the entire country going forward. The bill, this is not a bill. It's a markup of what a bill would be, a draft of what the bill would be, will be called the Build Back Better Act. In these first cluster, the 645 pages are checks for hazard pay, checks for seniors, checks for children, checks for the home, checks for college students, bikes, cars, and vehicles. Let's get to the first one, which is hazard pay. This channel has been the single biggest advocate for hazard pay in 2020 with over 500 videos, and we got it in there. That hazard pay provision will be a modification of the earned income tax credit, a very old tax code. They're modifying this tax code so more essential workers qualify for it. And then they're taking the money and increasing it. The next check is checks to care for the elderly. Huge. If you have an elderly person at home, this may be you up to $4,000 a year. Then if you have to care for a young child at home, up to $4,000 a year for that as well. Money for college students is in there. Three regards. Directly to the university, some directly to the student, and also the Pell's grant tax-free. What about the home? Yes. They even got grants in there to repair the home if you're in a low-income community. And then $51,000 of monthly MSC checks got in there. This is checks for expansion of the CTC lifetime, the child tax credit. You'll get up to $300 every month for every month that you are a low-income family household. Let's go over the calculation. Let's say you gave birth on Saturday and you're in a low-income household. For every month that you are in a low-income household, you'll get up to $300 a month every year for up to 18 years per child, which is $51,000. To show you how fluid the situation is, it's very fluid throughout the day, there are changes every hour on the hour on this channel about what's going on in this recon. Was late Saturday night, they walked in a modification to this, CTC. What did they do? A lot of children don't have their biological parents around anymore. They're blood relatives. They're raised by someone that is not a blood relative, like a foster parent. Well, they were normally not going to get money under the third stimulus version of CTC. They modified it so that that child gets that money. Then there's money for cars, vehicles, and trucks. Yes, electric and U.S. made. Up to up to 15% for the purchase of a new electric bike. Up to $7,500 $7, for the purchase of a new electric vehicle. And a little bit more if the vehicle's for business use. And a little bit more for an electric truck. Wow. That is the first cluster. We got two more clusters to go over in a second. They got them in there. Passed. Passed on a Saturday night. But let's first take a detour for a second to third stimulus. Third stimulus got a wonderful cash infusion of $13 billion about a week and a half ago. And for the first time on the evening's highlight, I show you why it was important to send that money out last week. Why? Because the federal government will likely shut down this Friday, and they would not be able to send out the money. The money went out. This is money for rent, utilities, and mortgage assistance. It's featured in the newsletter for members. I'm going to go over more about it later in this video. But Treasury made the statement a week and a half ago. Treasury is happy to provide state and local governments with the additional resources to support Americans in need of rental assistance. Every state, every county, red, blue, rich, and poor is getting this money. I'm going to go over more about this in a second, but let's cut to the second cluster of checks. And boy, these clusters of second checks are deliciousness. They're a lot of money. Uh, the first one is paid family leave and paid medical leave. Family leave, you have to stay at home because your spouse is pregnant, for example. Medical leave, you have to stay at home, for example, your son broke his leg. How much does it pay? A fortune. Under third symbol, it's supposed to say $1,700 a week if you make $70,000 or more per year. Split in half. Let's say you make $35,000 a year. $800 a week. Split in half again. Let's say you make 
$15,000 a year, $400 a week. Well, we got more checks under this third cluster, about 12 of them, and they are deliciousness. Checks for child care programs, checks for household tax credits, checks for seniors like Medicare benefits to include dental checks, vision here, checks, hearing, and more, and reducing Medicare expan eligibility. More about them, third cluster. And then checks for weatherizing your home. Definitely need it. Weatherizing your home, uh, especially if the Purple Hawks are on the roof and you are Fox News. <laughs> well, weatherizing your home, if you're in a hurricane area, a fire area, very well needed. They got checks in there as well. Then checks for pre-kindergarten and checks for another type of education. It's a very fluid situation. And just before going on camera, I tried to reread a new article out this afternoon that says the pre-kindergarten one may have a problem because they don't know if they can implement it. And they may have to change the language again. <laughs> yeah, I told you. It's a very fluid situation. The total pages count on the bill is 2,400, but it's expected to still grow. Tuition-free community college, definitely well needed. There's a free community college class that's now gonna be available to you. It's called, What the Hell Does LA Say? He just talks funny, 101. It's for everyone that thinks that everyone in Los Angeles has a dialect. Uh, we do. It's called uh, Go Away. No, it's, got, it's called Surfer Dude. Uh, you know, it's, I don't know what it's called. It's called Kale Salad. <laughs> uh, and, you know, you can take the class so you can understand how to listen to people from Los Angeles. Uh, in a second, I can cut to the third cluster. There's a lot of checks in there. But first, where is Congress? What is Congress doing? Where are they and what are they doing? Let's go over what's going on. First, over about six weeks ago, I told you that Senate and House Democrats would be negotiating the inclusion of applied provisions in the forced stimulus recount. That's what happened. I also told you that the House Democrats would be writing it up. That's also what happened. That reporting was also accurate. I also told you that the House would be voting first on the recount. We now know this week that is also true. All three scopes of reporting exclusively on the channel now proven true. So... Is there a strange little twist going on? There is a sort of strange twist going on, which is that the recon passes out of the budget committee and is ready to be called for a vote on the House floor. But Nancy's not calling for a vote yet because she still wants to make modifications from it. What are those modifications? I'll be going over more about that and the vote later in this video. But we got a lot happening between Monday today and Friday which is literally three bodies of legislation. Oh boy, can it work together? I'll explain that. That's coming up later in this video. Stay the file, 15 minutes video. Let's cut to the third cluster checks. They are huge and they are the ones the president wants in there. Checks for free school meals for all, checks. Cheaper prescription medication, checks. Checks for free internet, checks for, elect uh, for farmers, checks for clean energy. Checks for workers, uh, independent contractors, checks for seniors, lowering dental, uh, checks for dental, checks for vision, checks for hearing care, lowering eligibility age for Medicare. Well, checks in the third cluster got an extra cash infusion, $107 billion. You're only here on this channel. The, the Senate parliamentarian looked at this recon about two weeks ago and said, ah, oh, you know what? One of those provisions in there about the judiciary needs to come out. Doesn't concern you, it's the judiciary. I looked at my old notes. I said, wait a second, that's $107 billion. No one's talking about this. Yes, they were able to reallocate that money to you. Two of the checks in this third cluster are deliciousness and because they're automatic savings to your wallet and that's why the president likes it. This is why I like it. The first one is cheaper prescription medication. You would go to the pharmacy, for example, tonight pay for a, a prescription. Let's say it's $20, you, uh, $40. Let's say you take two $20 bills out of your wallet to pay. This becomes law. They slash the prices. You go back and the next time you refill the prescription, you only perhaps take out one $20 bill, keeping a $20 bill in your wallet. Then they're going to provide free internet. Fortune of money will be given to cities, counties, and states across the country to offer free internet companies, uh, free on and off services to their citizens. So all you'd have to do is say, hey, what's the username and password for the Wi-Fi connection in your city? Uh, oh, you mean T-Mobile? Uh, yeah, the, the Wi-Fi connection, the username is Blaine66, and the password is Scarf101. <laughs> there we go. In the second half of this video, we'll be going over a lot of breaking news, even slightly different than even new time. Morning daylight, even slightly from the morning daylight. We're going to be going over the IRS monthly stimulus check. What those Democratic senators said, what those Democratic House members said. No less than a thousand viewers of this channel have been told by them that they're inserting a monthly stimulus check provision in there. 
and we're going to go over when, where, and how this happens. Then we're going to go over the exciting details of the voting process. Three bodies of law, recon, infrastructure, and debt ceiling limit all within today and Friday. Who wants what, what wants where. I'll explain who are the players and what they're arguing for. You're going to be surprised. Then we cut to fifth stimulus. We'll be cutting over the third stimulus. And then I'll go over a little bit about the debt ceiling limit because guess what? That deadline's Friday. And they have an issue about that as well. There's so much coming up in this evening's ad broadcast as your recon passes on a Saturday night. Boy, what could happen tonight? It's evening's LA and we're far from over. Stay with me. I'll be back with you in 60 seconds. If you want money right now, not five days from now, and not five weeks from now, then reach out to the community page. The volunteers can help you find that money for rent and utilities. That's at news.la.com forward slash community. The community page features a series of volunteers who are viewers like you. They can help you find rent, utilities, SNAP, food benefits, mortgage assistance, and help you with eviction moratorium questions as well. Their Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram individuals reach out to them and indicate the city and state you're from, and they'll get back to you shortly. That's a community page. Volunteers working for you, viewers helping one another. Stay with LA for more. Join LA Late Daily for the excitement of the new LA Late Live Daily. The excitement starts on mornings LA Late at 9 a.m. Home LA Late returns at 11 a.m. daily. And then afternoons LA Late at 1 p.m. Join us daily as the excitement continues live from Santa Monica on LA Late. And the excitement continues with your fourth stimulus check update 2021 continuing right now as the $3.5 trillion recon passes on a Saturday night. So, why was it not called for a vote on a Monday night? I'll explain the details and what will happen between today and Thursday night. Oh boy, there's a lot coming up in this evening's LA broadcast. We'll be cutting over to that recon, that fourth stimulus. We'll be cutting back to third stimulus as additional cash infusions coming out. We'll be cutting over to the exciting details of this stimulus. Raises your benefits up if you're on SSI and SSDI. The debt ceiling limit. And then we'll be going over those MSC IRS stimulus checks and what Capitol Hill told over a thousand viewers of this channel about its inclusion. Boy, it's a big evening's broadcast. And with that, I want you to subscribe. 400,000 subscribers a YouTube record. Hit that subscribe button right now. Like the video, two, 3,000 likes, and consider becoming a member. Purple Hawk, Purple Power, Casino VIP. We got shows coming up tonight. Overnight's Crypto. Uh, and then we have shows at 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, and 11.30 tonight. They are all shows about how to follow stimulus when it comes out, how to apply for stimulus. Very informative shows. I don't want you to miss any of them. They're all throwbacks. And with that, let's cut back to the exciting details as Janet Yellen got something very right. What did she do? Well, Janet Yellen, your Treasury Secretary, thought that potentially – the debt ceiling limit lapsing would happen later this Friday. So two weeks ago, she got that $13 billion out as fast as she could to the city, college, and states for the rent, utilities, and mortgage. And now it's available for you to get. I want to go over that rent because the numbers have gone up 200%. Utilities, it, they've gone up 300%. And the SNAP has gone up 400% in all of a month. Let's look at the numbers and why they have grown so quickly so soon. Well, it was a month ago. Purple Hawks of this channel, I hope you are as one. We're getting twenty to 20, 27000 Now viewers are getting thirty to $40,000 of rent. When we talk about utilities, it's going now upwards of $15,000 of utility, a 300% increase. Mark's brother-in-law got $15,000. Remember Mark, 51000 Mark? Yeah, his brother-in-law got $15,000 for utilities. When we talk about SNAP, Mark's brother-in-law got 21000 Boy, that's a 400% increase. Get that pen, paper, cell phone ready. I'm going to show you how you get this big sums of money right now. I'm going to show you six places to reach out to. Reach out to all six. 
they have different pots of money and they have different eligibility. Number two, list the keywords I say in this video. And number three, get ready for some new details from the nonprofits tonight. All right, here are the six places you reach out to. City Hall, City House Authority. County Hall, County House Authority. State Hall and State House Authority. And the keywords you're going to say are rent assistance because of COVID. Mortgage utility assistance because of COVID. Let's say those six places again. City Hall, City House Authority. County Hall, County House Authority. State Hall and State House Authority. Now, uh, the members of this channel now have an upgraded newsletter that goes out every night at about 7 p.m. Pacific Standard Time. Actually, uh, just a little bit after this video airs, about two hours after this video airs, sent out from the YouTube Community Alert System and the LA Alert System. And in that newsletter, I now feature the treasury statement about the 13 billion. I want you to read that first, because if you got in money before, or if you've reached out to your city, county, and state, they said, we're out of money, guess what? They will have the money. Every city, county, state, red, blue, poor, rich, will have the money. Reach out to them. If they say they don't have it yet, then say, can I be on the waiting list? Then if they don't have a waiting list, say, if I can call tomorrow. It's first come, first serve. I want you to pounce as soon as it comes there. Then utilities. I want you to reach out to all your utility companies. So if you have five, reach out to all five. And then finally, the nonprofits. One viewer tells me that one nonprofit got her refrigerator overnight. This is a different viewer than the one who says, I got a refrigerator and a and a furnace and my window fix. That was a totally different viewer. Then one viewer says St. Vincent de Paul has been absolutely incredibly wonderful. Got their rent approved within 24, got paid within 24 hours of approval. Another one said the same thing about United Way. Here are the five nonprofits. United Way, Salvation Army, Catholic Charities, Community Action, St. Vincent de Paul. Now, I want you to understand that the nonprofits do things differently in the federal government. Federal government have their own eligibility and they don't pay for everything. Nonprofits pay for a lot more. They pay sometimes for shelter, homeless people into shelters, sometimes for clothing, sometimes for small appliances like a refrigerator or a window fixed. So consider reaching out to the nonprofits. Here are those five nonprofits again. They're also featured in the newsletter for members. Hopefully you're a member. The link is in the video. United Way, Salvation Army, Community Action, Catholic Charities, St. Vincent du Paul. Well, also, if you haven't gotten holiday gifts ready, reach out to Salvation Army. They start doing that in October. Don't wait till the last second of November, December. Let's turn the money for SNAP. That is huge. SNAP benefits are being increased an average of 25% automatically in October nationwide everywhere for everyone. Mark's brother in law is going from 21000 to 26000 Now you're going to get two letters. And if you get the first one, you're going to get confused because there's a second letter. The first one says your benefits are going down because they expired in September, the lift up. Well, you know what's happening. The next lift up is in October, so wait for that second letter. I know the first letter is confusing. Then, unemployment benefits, yes. If you're overpaid unemployment benefits due to computer error from your state, you're getting that money as well. It's going to raise your benefits up uh, an average of $2,000. You're going to get more than $2,000 to $5,000 refund check. Reach out to your state for that tracking. And then finally, the IRS refund check from that 2020 unemployment benefits you pay taxes on. That refund check is about $1,000 to $2,000. Margaret got it, Cod got it, Michael got it. I want you to go to irs.gov and do transcript search if you want to search for it. Finally, if you're on the live chat, post your success stories that you gotten from this channel for rent, utilities, and food or internet. Because when you do, you inspire other people. Lastly, if you've not become a Purple Hawk, Purple Power, Calcino VIP member of this channel, please do. The link is under the video. This is what I want you to promise yourself. I want you to try to get rent and utilities and mortgage assistance as far into the future as possible. So if you're an Art Sullivan or Anissa who got money before, I want you to get more money. If you're a new viewer who never got any money or tried to, I want you to get more money. Why? Because the nonprofits are not getting a lot of calls at the moment. It's not winter yet. It's the end of summer, summer early, early fall. And they're not getting you know, the calls for heating oil and things like that just yet. So they don't have a lot of calls coming in. It's easier to get the money approved now. So wherever you're eligible, get as much money as you can as far forward as possible. Members are delivered daily from me to them, a breakdown of all the big money on the first, second, third stimulus in the nightly newsletter. Delivered money through Friday, 5 p uh, 7 p.m. Pacific Standard Time, and out to members via the YouTube alert system and the LA alert system. It includes all the money in first, second, third stimulus, now upgrade, including the nonprofits, and has what's in there for fourth and fifth in part. As soon as fourth becomes law, yes, you know what I'm going to be doing. I'm going to be going over every single check of this $3.5 trillion of checks, cluster one, two, three, showing you how to get every 
item of money. That's where this channel's heading in the next few months. I'm going to go over all those checks, how to get it, because it's going to be a task. And there's going to be a lot of money, $3.5 trillion of it for you to get. And I'm going to show you how you get it. So consider becoming a member. And with that, we go into the final 15 minutes of this video now, right now. As your $3.5 trillion recon passes the House sub budget subcommittee, budget committee, on a Saturday night. What does this mean? This means that all the clusters, the first 645 pages of that 2,400-page bill released two weeks ago, cluster number two with the, with the paid leave, and cluster number three with the seniors' money, all got passed. Why is it not on the House floor today? It could be. But as Pelosi said late Saturday, negotiations still continue with me in the House, me in the Senate, and me and the President. Now, it's important for you to advocate down to the finish line with the presumption that maybe you still got to negotiate, push, and advocate. Because advocacy doesn't stop with the markup of something that will be a bill. <laughs> we got to have the bill. We have to have the bill vote. We have to have the Senate. We have to have Senate modifications. We have to have the Senate vote. So you have to push, advocate down to the finish line for that IRS MSC check. Now, let's go over what has happened over the last week. Over a thousand viewers of this channel have been told by Bernie Sanders' office that a stimulus check is in there. Told the same thing by Ron Wyden, uh, Coons, Casey, Schumer, Liz Warren, AOC, Jalapal, Pelosi, and Omar's offices. And going into the weekend, they were told that the negotiations are near complete. $2,000 the first month, $1,000 thereafter, running six months. Let's go back to where it started with Coons' office to WR. Eight weeks ago, WR advocated for a stimulus check for himself and his family. I need it. This is why I need it. My family needs it. Called up Senator Democrat Chris Coons advocated for the inclusion of a stimulus check. And Coons' office said, well, they're already doing one. They're inserting a monthly stimulus check provision in the four stimulus recon. Three weeks ago, I delivered several exclusives on this channel. One, that the House would be writing the legislation. That's now true. That the House will vote first on the legislation. That's now also true. And that Bernie Sanders is part of the uh, core of the issue, and it is also true. Bernie Sanders at the time said as budget chairman for the Senate, I like to get amongst the people when I'm doing a recon. Listen to that wording again, because he's asking for you to hear your impact, your input on what you want to have in that recon. Remember that later in this video. Well, Bernie Sanders, at that point, I said, pick up the phone and advocate to Sanders' office. And Margaret did. Lynn Glenn did. And Brother Joshua did. 2020 volunteers in the community page who got nearly thousands and thousands of viewers of this channel money for rent and utilities all throughout 2020. What does advocacy for stimulus look like? It looks like this. I need it. My family needs it. My church needs it. My community needs it. I got to tell you why I need it. And the last 48 hours, I'm so proud of the advocacy that's coming through this channel. One of the markets picked up the phone and called and advocated so vigorously, she broke down and cried. Another viewer picked up the phone and advocated, saying, listen, I've had 10 surgeries since my husband's passing. Now I'm trying to, trying to raise two teenage daughters and the hardship, and SSDI is not enough. And advocated why she needs it, and the staff are saying, yes, I'm starting a monthly stimulus check. And that's what Brother Joshua did. Brother Joshua called Bernie Sanders' office and advocate for the inclusion of stimulus check. My church needs my family needs it, I need it. And Sanders office confirming to Brother Joshua three weeks ago, stimulus check is in there. $1,000 to $1,400, three to six months. But Sanders office saying, I need to hear your support. He specifically asked Brother Joshua's to show America's support behind the monthly stimulus check. So we picked up the phone and we started calling. And it started with Donnie, who picked up the phone and said, you want to hear support? I'll give you support. Here's my support, Senator Sanders. Uh, Donnie picked up the phone and advocating as loud, as vigorously as he can to Senator Sanders' office after they asked to hear if they have the support. I said, I need my stimulus check. I need to progress. This is Donnie's comment to me on social media. I called Bernie Sanders and his secretary said, yes. They're doing a forced stimulus check. And I said, that's what I need. I need it for my city. I need it to progress. I need it for my water bill. And she said, okay, they're doing a fourth. Hurricane Tina calling up Sanders. I called Bernie's office and I got through and they did say they were putting another stimulus check in there. And then Carolyn Smith calling up Bernie Sanders' office. I talked to his secretary, told we need help here. People losing their homes and what they got. And she agrees. And Bernie is also putting a stimulus check in there. Then it continued with Lori. It continued with Yaya. I spoke to another staffer 
who says he wants the two SS-200 that we are promised. That's a Wyden, a staffer. Then Will took us to another level by, calling, by level, another level by calling three offices in one day. He called Bernie. He called Schumer. He called Sanders. All three offices said they are doing it. Uh, as to Elizabeth Warren's office, I was told, this is Will, I was told by Liz Warren's office, it's happening. Liz Warren's office asked me what amount I want. I said I would be sufficient if they gave the American petition. And they said they are doing it. They said Senator Warren is adding in a monthly stimulus check provision. It continued thereafter with Lorica, who really took us to another level with Big Bombshell. Lorica said, I got Senator Casey's on the phone, phone, office on the phone. He's on the committee. And he's pushing for a lot of money. And he said, yes, they're in negotiations now for the stimulus check inclusion. It was by that point that nearly 1,000 viewers of this channel had been told repeatedly by Senate Democrats that there is a monthly stimulus check provision in the recon. They were told by Coons, Sanders, Warren, Schumer, Casey, and Wyden. But about a week and a half ago, I said, okay, let's focus on the House side. Call over the House side. Call AOC, Omar, Jayalapal, Pelosi. Why did I say those names? Because AOC and Jayalapal and Omar had said before they're doing it. AOC and Jal and Omar had written a letter saying they're doing $2,000. And Jal Paul had written on the House bill, $1,000 a month, pandemic plus one year. So remember that? Yeah. And so I said, pick up the phone and advocate. We got lucky because by the end of last week, Pelosi's office said that whole team was part of the team to negotiate and include those stimulus check provisions and write it up with Pelosi as the lead negotiator. And that's what Paul did. He called to AOC's office about a week and a half ago. He said, I caught AOC secretary on the phone. She wants them to be $2,000 the, the first month and $1,000 thereafter for 12 months. She assured me it would be added to the bill. That's AOC's office. Jalapal's office confirmed it to Janice. I've called every, everyone in Congress. I called Jalapal, and they also did say yes, four stimulus is in there. That's Janice's comment. Janice also called Omar. And Omar's office confirmed the same thing to Janice as well. Then the comments kept on coming in. Paul, calling over to Omar's office. I called Omar's office. And Omar wants to put a reoccurring stimulus check in there. She wants it to be $2,000 the first month, $1,000 every month thereafter for six months. Then Ida Burns. I got off the phone with Omar's office. They are putting in an MSC $2,000 the first month or $1,000 for six months. That's Omar's office. Then Lynn Glenn calling to Jalapal's office. I spoke to the secretary, and her secretary said, yes, they're giving us monthly stimulus checks. Then we had a big comment that came in from Mark, Hurricane, a $51,000 mark. He called Pelosi's office last Monday, and Pelosi's office staff told me, this is Mark talking, writing, Pelosi's office told Mark that there would be a forced stimulus in the amount of $2,000 the first month, $1,000 thereafter, and they're almost done negotiating it. There you go. There was nearly 1,000 viewers from this channel, told by Pelosi, told by Omar, told by Jalapal, uh, and told by AOC on the House that they're putting a stimulus check in there, a monthly one, $1,000 at the first month of 2000 then we had over on the Senate side, we had no less than a half a dozen senators telling those thousand viewers the same thing. Bernie, Liz, Chuck, Coons, Casey, and more, all saying they're including it as well. So what should you see about think about the situation today? Well, viewers continue to advocate today. And among viewers that called over to the House members, because I said to focus on the House members, they got back the confirmation from Jalapal, AOC, Omar's office, and Pelosi that they are pushing to get it in there. Now, the vert temps is very, very fascinating because as viewers now report that the negotiations are may not be over, that the drafting may not be finished. That's actually consistent with what Pelosi says. So you need to focus, laser focus, on those House Democrats. Who's the lead negotiator? Pelosi's office says she is. Who is advocating for a bigger amount? Pelosi's office says she is. How much was Pelosi trying to get? 12 months for $1,400 to $2,000 a month. Could she get it? They said they couldn't. She said she was laser focused on $1,000 a month after the first month of 2000 to run six months. You gotta advocate. Pelosi, Jalapal, Omar, because they said they're doing it.
and they say they promise to do it. All right, more about that in a second. Let's cut over to the big surprises about uh, the vote, the vote and the debt ceiling limit, and also for stimulus. Well, let's start with the vote. Wow. The vote has become very, very peculiar, <laughs> and the situation is very fluid. It's changing by the hour. We have three bodies of law. We have your recon, we have the roads and bridges, and we have the debt ceiling limit. Let me tell you what's going on with the roads and bridges, also called infrastructure, also called bipartisan. Pelosi was very savvy with this one. She made a deal with the problem creator uh, about a month ago that she would start the voting process today. That's all she agreed to. She didn't agree to anything else. Remember, Pelosi determines when things go f call for a vote. The starting the voting process is basically floor arguing, floor debate, not the yes or no, where you see that little thing on C-SPAN where it says yes, one yes, two no's, not, not that. She didn't say when the, our, the debate would end, and she didn't make a promise as to when the vote would literally happen. But most insiders believe that the vote would happen by Thursday, if not Friday. It does not make clear at the moment if there was a hard, fast agreement with the prom creator on that Thursday or Friday date. Is there enough votes to pass the roads and bridges? Jayala Paul said on Friday, no. The progressives reportedly have said, oh, ha, well, I've, I've run the quote on this show. The progressives have reportedly been quoted on the record saying, we are voting against the roads and bridges. If you try to do the roads and bridges first, you try to do the roads and bridges vote this week first, we're going to vote against it, meaning it will not pass. It will lose. Now, in saying that she's starting the process to Monday and may be done by Friday, that doesn't mean the recon, recon can't start at the same time. That doesn't mean the recon can't go for a vote first. That also doesn't mean that they can kill the roads and bridges first and then turn to the recon. Very, very unclear what's going to happen. My prediction is the following that the roads and bridges will not pass by itself and leave recon sitting by the side. Absolutely not. That either the recon will be killed by the progressives, voted down, and that they'll say, okay, now let's do the recon. Or that they'll do the recon before the roads and bridges or at the same time so that they're all done. Now, they could have started the voting on the recon today, but the situation is very fluid because they're still mod making modifications. This is huge for you. That's why you need to advocate like the IRS MSC check is not in there. We have the House markup of what would be the bill. Then we're going to have the House bill. Then we have the modifications of the House bill and the argument about it. Then we have the House floor vote. Then we have the Senate uh, voterama. So we have a lot of steps that modification could happen. You and AOC, Jal, Paul, Omar, who appear to be the ones that are really in your corner at the moment to advocate for you. And you need to advocate with them. Remember, advocacy on this channel involves you saying, I need it for my family, my community, my church, my town. Advocacy is 100% not treating legislators like Western Union. They are not your bank. They are not Western Union. They're not routing you money in the mail. So don't treat them like that. Don't also treat them like FedEx tracking tool or UPS tracking tool. They don't want to hear lots of questions. When is it isn't? They want to hear that you advocate for it. And at the moment, it looks like those are the four people that really have your back. Not so much we're getting mixed signals with Bernie Sanders, who I'll remind you that in fall 2020, folded like a lawn chair. Folded like a lawn chair, had all these comments out to press that he was going to hold up the Senate vote unless you got a $2,000 stimulus check. He promised with Josh Hawley that he was going to block the Senate vote on the second stimulus unless it was $2,000 because $600 was not enough. And when it came, he folded like a lawn chair. He didn't do anything that he promised. He's done this before. So we don't know if Bernie Sanders is folding like a lawn chair again on stimulus or not. But I want you to understand that the lead, the start at the moment is AOC, Jayala, Paul, Omar, and Pelosi. All right, then the vote on the debt ceiling limit also makes this really fascinating. And I'm going to go over the debt ceiling limit starting right now. The debt ceiling limit doesn't impact your checks. No. If you receive Social Security, benefits, checks, 
or you're an active member of the armed services, or you're a person uh, who works for a federal agency, your checks will arrive on time. If we go a week late, they'll arrive on time. We go two weeks late, your checks will arrive on time. If we're going two months in December, then we have another situation. We'll address it then. But it's very commonplace we miss the deadline by a few weeks. Number two, I want you to remember that um, when looking at the debt ceiling limit, it has nothing, categorically nothing, to do with the funding of the recon. The recon is not currently law, and the debt ceiling limit has to do with funding existing laws. <laughs> Finally, work schedule. This one's a big one. This one's a big one, and this situation is changing by the hour. Does the fact that they are doing three bodies of law in four days between now and Friday make an issue for us? It does. Does it make it helpful for us? It does to some extent. Number one, the debt ceiling limit is supposed to be a bipartisan event. The, the roads and bridges are supposed to be a bipartisan event. And then the recon, not a bipartisan event. We have seen over the last year when Democratic legislators are doing lots of things at the same time, they get a lot done quicker because they're on the phone dealing with something else. Saying, you want to make a deal with me on this, then make a deal with me on this other thing. We'll get them all done together. Don't just do one. I want to do a couple of things and get them all done. They seem to work to their advantage, and Pelosi seems to that be doing that to work as well. There is some strange dynamic going in the House among the Democrats. The progressive Democrats, recon. The moderate Democrats, infrastructure. So very, very fascinating dynamic with some of the moderate Democrats saying, you better pass our roads and bridges this week. And the progressives saying, I'm not passing your roads and bridges first until we do the recon first. So there's a whole fascinating dynamic even among the Democrats before we even talk about bipartisanship. Finally, fifth stimulus. Raise your benefits up if you're on SSI, SDI, Social Security, Railroad benefits, and Veterans benefits. Applies a new benchmark. The new benchmark's inflation. And if your benefits go up, then if the inflation goes up, then your benefits go up. They're going to remove the asset cap, remove the income cap, and remove the marriage penalty. Finally, let's recap everything you need to know across the board. Between Monday and Friday, it's going to be a week of what Pelosi calls intensity. We've seen this time, again, where there's a big crunch time. And you never know in that crunch time which legislator really steps up. You don't really ever know. This channel has not done a lot of advocacy with Jalapal or Omar or AOC in the past. So this is sort of new, this is sort of new grounds for us. So far as of Monday, people who reached out to AOC and Jalapal and Omar's office got the same remark as well, that they're doing it, they're putting it in, but it wasn't yet finished, which is fine. Um, the important thing is you need to advocate down to the finish line. You need to advocate because we have a markup of a bill that passed in the House. The Budget Committee passed in a $3.5 trillion markup of what would be the bill. Then we have to introduce this to the House floor. The House floor can still modify it. AOC, Jalapal, Omar can modify what is introduced as an HR, as a House bill. Then the vote on the House. Then the Senate, the two-day voterama. The senators can modify as well. You need to advocate down to the finish line. And that finish line is right in front of us. And with that, there's so much coming up. Tonight, we got shows with Overnight's Crypto playing on this channel. Thank you for making Morning's Crypto today one of our most watches ever. In fact, today has been one of our most watched days on this channel for nearly three months. So keep it going. I want you to advocate down to the finish line. The exciting news is that all these incredible clusters of checks detail on this channel from hazard pay to checks for seniors and checks for workers and individuals got in there. That's good. We just need to make sure everything gets in there across the board. Like the video, two, 3,000 likes, subscribe, and consider becoming a member. And with that, I look forward to seeing you next on Overnight's Crypto Currently Play on this channel. Then shows tonight at 6 o'clock, 7 o'clock, 8 o'clock, 9 o'clock, 10 o'clock, and 11.30. Watch those shows tonight because they're very helpful to explain to you how money comes when it's approved. Stay informed, stay focused, and stay with Ally for more.